I'm Rebecca Fryer with Kingstonist News. Here's what's making headlines today, June 16th, 2022. Prepare for some possible wild weather today as meteorologists with the Northern Tornadoes Project out of Western University are predicting possible tornadic weather in our region for this afternoon, Thursday, June 16th. Environment Canada has thunderstorms in the forecast for Kingston today, saying they are likely to happen this afternoon. A reminder that when thunder roars, go indoors. And if threatening weather approaches, take shelter immediately in the lowest room of your home without any windows. Follow Kingstonist on social media for updates as they happen. Police are now appealing to the public for tips as they continue to investigate a double homicide from last year near Sydenham Road in the 401. Police say the murders happened on Saturday, October 16th, 2021, when the two victims were shot in the parking lot near Sydenham Road and Highway 401. Police say a 21-year-old man from Ottawa was pronounced dead at the scene, while the second victim, a 29-year-old man also from the Ottawa region, died in hospital a few days later. Officers are still looking for the occupants of a burgundy-colored SUV that they believe may have witnessed the shootings or may have some relevant details to their investigation as police say that they were walking a dog in the parking lot at the Sydenham Road and Highway 401 parking lot at the same time that the incident occurred. Police are also appealing to any local companies who may have dash cams and may have dash cam footage from that night with valuable evidence that they're not even aware of. Police ask all motorists who may have been driving near the parking lot at Sydenham in the 401 on October 16th, 2021 to check their dash cam footage and send it to police if possible. You can check out kingstonist.com for more on this story. Don't shoot the messenger, but we found out that construction on the causeway is going to be delayed again. <laughs> Originally scheduled from the first Monday in April until Tuesday, May 31st, the lane reductions on the causeway have been causing nightmares for commuters trying to get across the Cataraqui River for weeks now, thanks to alternating lane closures due to maintenance work. However, the government now says they need just a little more time until June 24th to complete the work due to strike action impacting concrete and asphalt suppliers. So to those who find the alternating lane closures on the LaSalle Causeway problematic, you certainly will not be pleased to hear that more work is also scheduled to occur on the bridge in the coming months. This time, crews will be working on projects to strengthen and replace various components of the lift bridge, which is expected to extend the life of the bridge by at least another 30 years or so. The project is scheduled to begin November 2022 and end in April 2023. It will also result in lane reductions and bridge closures. But thankfully, Mayor Brian Patterson says the third crossing should be open in time to alleviate those anticipated closures and give Kingstonians a new way to cross the river. South Frontenac Rec and Leisure Services are looking for local musicians and sponsors to continue their Music in the Park series this summer. The series will take place one Saturday evening per month throughout the summer from 6 to 8 p.m. with the first event set for July 9th at McMullen Park Beach. You can check out kingstonist.com for contact information and maybe we'll see you there. The Holy Cross Crusaders have won the 2022 Kingston Area Secondary School Athletic Association Baseball Championships, defeating Rigi Notre Dame 5-3 uh, to three in the finals at Woodbine Park on the afternoon of Monday, June 13th. Monday's game marked the first baseball final since 2018. In 2019, poor field conditions had them cancelled and the pandemic shut things down for the past two years, which made this year's final a little extra special. And lastly, three Frontenac paramedics were honoured with the Governor Emergency Medical Services Exemplary Services Award at the Ontario Association of Paramedic Chiefs of Eastern Region Exemplary Service Awards Gala last week. Woo! The organization said this prestigious award recognizes paramedics who have performed their duties in an exemplary manner over a period of at least 20 years. And also celebrated was retired Frontenac paramedic Joe Ferguson, who received his 40 year in recognition of 40 years of service as a paramedic. For more on these stories and other headlines or to submit your own news, visit kingstonist.com and become a subscriber today. I'm Rebecca Fryer. Have a great one, Kingston.